Hey, Rero fans out there again. Uh, this is part three of the um, Triple M Model Rero. This is the proud owner, Martel. And this is my nephew, Maurice. Maurice. And of course, we all know that Mike is working at a location on a certain train that we cannot mention right now. So, but he will be in one of the videos uh, mm -hmm. as soon as he gets on a vacation, will be in a couple of weeks. But uh, for the meantime, let's go into part three of the Triple M River. Over here is coming, the two mains coming from the Helix, okay? Coming through the two crossovers, both of them are right hands, right? Number sixes, um, microengineering, right? And um, the one on my right, is actually a branch line um, that runs underneath the helix, well, through the helix, and underneath the helix, coming around, and then it starts descending on this end at a 2% incline, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is heading towards the staging yard. So once it reaches this point, which is approximately about a foot and a half from the helix, it won't be visible anymore. You will not see your train, period, until you get to uh, way on the other side of the, the other side of the basement, which is being remodeled. So we're not gonna view that side now because uh, walls are down and stuff like that. And it'll be looking like this one when it's all done. Now we're using cork road bed, first of all, cause the cork is from learning from past mistakes is that the cork is more solid and is better to work with than the foam. Now, I started out with the foam, but ever since I transitioned into the cork, I tend to like the cork better now. And another thing is on the two mains, if you notice, let's see if I can lift up a little part, you'll see that there's another piece of cork down there too. That piece of cork is um, end gauge on top of the HO gauge. And the reason for that is because we want our main to be a scale foot higher than let's say the branch or a siding or um, this is the lead where it's, you don't see that. And what we do is we'll just sand it down. I'll lift it up there and move it over. And you can see how it's sanded down. Okay, and um, this, this just comes down like that and flattens out into the regular HO scale cork. Okay, and this is prototypic in the real railroads, as you'll see a siding or a runaround, and it's generally um, a foot lower than the main line. Also, we transitioned into L girders. The old, the old way that we used to do it was um, really ridiculous and just a waste of money and waste, waste of time. Now we're doing the L girders. Look at the strength of this. It's not moving, it's solid, okay? And um, for all you guys out there that are afraid to tear your layout down and start it over again and do the research, don't be afraid. Do it. It's the best thing that I've ever done. It took a little convincing to conv finally convince me to do it. They had to tie me down and knock me upside my head and flog me a little bit. But um, I see the results and I'm very impressed by the results and I, and I love the results. So don't be afraid to tear your layout down. Don't be afraid to build it back up and um, do a lot of research. And then you can get, you know, the layout that you really want. Take your time doing it, do it right, and then you'll enjoy yourself. Peace. Peace.